All right, I'm back again. And I figured if we're having a top five favorites, why not a top five favorites of the artifacts that I've made? I'd love to see some artifacts that other people have made. I know that a bunch of you guys out there make stuff um, from uh, arrowheads to uh, pipes to all kinds of artifacts. So, um, yeah, don't hesitate. Let's jump in here and do it. I'd like to see some of y'all stuff. This one's going to be top five. Number five, because it's glass, and glass is the easiest thing to work, uh, as far as I know. I was doing this one trying to work on flaking. This used to be a mason bottle that I found in an old barn. And um, I busted the bottom out. And uh, actually, this bottle, the, boss, the bottom was already busted out, so I brought it home and... Um, worked on flaking. The flaking turned out pretty good, and it's obvious I like Dalton's. So number five. You can even see the L. I left it on there from the bottom of the bottle. I thought about flaking that off, but then I was like, nah, it's kind of cool. Number four would be this one. I just got through watching Headhunter LT's video of his faves, and um, He's got the bowl and bevels, which are just so cool. I call them the fully loaded, tricked out model. Because they got notches, the base is ground, they're beveled, some have serrations. What else could you ask for? Fully loaded, tricked out. So, yep, this one's got the sweet bevel. Check that out, Headhunter. Yes, indeed, that's a good one. And I made it, which is surprising. So this one, um, the flaking is really good. One of my favorite aspects on this one is the fact that I don't know that this is the exact same kind of flint that we find here, but it sure as heck looks like it. That dark, almost bluish hint flint. So yeah, that's a good one for, for me. I'm really not good at this arrowhead making thing. Still really new and, uh, you know, we don't have flint here where I can just run out and, and grab a bunch and and just practice, practice, practice. And even if we did, I have to take days off because uh, it kind of makes my hands arthritic. It kills my hands, especially the hand that I'm holding when I pressure flake, when I percussion flake, not so much. But uh, like I said, I'm partial to Dalton's. So this would be my number three favorite that I've made. Um, don't, I don't know what this, what this flint is. I got it at a nap-in, the only nap-in we went to, but um, it's not beveled. Um, but yep, yeah, that's a good one for me. You really can't, the material doesn't really show off the flaking so much on this one. But the material is really gorgeous. I liked it. You can see right on this one side, I got a little carried away with a flake and kind of dipped down in there a little bit. It was worse, but I got most of that worked out. Whoops. Number two in the favorites would be this one. And it's number two of the favorites because it's quartz and we find the quartz. I love quartzies, so making quartz points really, really, really for us puts in perspective when you find a good looking quartz point, a well made quartz point, it is a joke how hard this stuff is to work or make something out of. I mean, it's just so difficult. It wants to break in the wrong direction or in half, or it's just funny how hard it is and brittle at the same time. This one, I only had one problem. It had a little stack on the base down here, and for the life of me, I could not get that thing off. It drove me nuts. But even so, I've made about six quartz points. Love making them. The whole time I'm making them, I'm thinking about 2,000 years ago when the guy didn't have a, you know, a copper pressure flaker that he bought off of eBay. He's trying to do this with an antler or a bone or whatever. And uh, It's just amazing. When you find a good one that's made out of quartz, just know that guy knew what the heck he was doing. It wasn't his first, that's for sure. So number one goes all the way back to the beginning of the video when I said if you make artifacts and it doesn't matter what kind you make, put them on here. I'd like to see them. My discoidal that I made, this rock came all the way from California. Wagon John sent it to me. He was making one and um, I just, I was like, God, I wish I had a good round rock like that so I could try to make one of those. I tried to make some out of the stuff here, but it's it's quartz or it's so not close to already being round that the amount of time involved would take forever. 
but that's my uh, that's my number one favorite thing I've made the discoidal it's fun to play out front with the kids and um, just cool I love hard stone artifacts and and discoidals are one of my favorite so yeah if anybody's got this angle of uh, favorites put it on here don't be afraid to I'd love to see it I'm sure there's a bunch of other people that love to see it also so um, yeah if I get anything new some new material maybe I'll post some other ones that I've made but either way, thanks again as always for watching your comments and uh, for all the challenges. They're fun to get into because the hunting here has been really, really slow. We just aren't finding anything and uh, there's really not a lot of spots for us right now to look. So yep, yeah, thanks again as always.